certified personal trainer and nutritionist and today I have a martial arts inspired stretching routine but it can also be used as a warm-up because all of these stretches are dynamic and they use every various part of the body um, so that being said we'll get right into it we're going to begin towards the head with some neck rotations so you're simply going to lean your head back and then roll to the other side so we're going to do that for four the next thing that we have is a pivot shoulder twist and this is going to stretch the mid back muscles and open up the chest and shoulders and there are two ways to do this so the first one being that you will expand your arms out like a propeller and swing from side to side however I find it uh, a better stretch to lunge and then twist on each side because I feel that it gets more of my back but it might be different for other people because everybody's body is different so you may pick any variation you prefer and we're going to alternate for 10 we have is going to stretch the shoulders and open up the hip so you're going to get into a squat you want to place your hands on your inner leg or near your knee and you're going to push your shoulder down and then switch so we're going to alternate sides for 12 make sure you control how much of your weight you're pushing on your knee so that you do not hurt yourself you should not be pushing too much of your weight there is a reverse step with an arm circle so first an arm circle looks like a backstroke and then you're going to step back and swing your arms behind you so we're going to alternate for 10 to our next movement so we have a knee raise and you're going to begin with a knee raise up come down knee raise side come down knee raise out that is one and we're going to do five on each side this is going to help with the range of motion of the hip and it's also going to stretch some of the muscles in that area Once you've done your five, switch. next thing we have is called whisking arms and it's for chest, upper back, and arms. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring your arms at your side, you're going to swing them in front of your body, crossing your hands, come out and expand. You can do this at chest level, you can do this at a low level, or you can do this up high, or you can do all three. It's up to you. And we're going to do this ten times, making sure that you switch your hand every repetition. to our next exercise which is a side leg swing. So if you do not have good balance you can hold on to a sturdy piece of furniture or a wall and if not you can try to support yourself. It's up to you. 
what you're going to do is you're going to swing your leg up. You're going to use that momentum to get to the peak of the stretch or the part where you should feel your muscle pulling but not ripping. And we're going to do that for five on each side. Once you've done five, switch. If you are serious about increasing your flexibility for kicks, a good way to do this is to have a specific target or a specific goal. Um, so if you have a heavy bag, you can mark it with tape, or you can use your wall if you have walls that you're not in fear of damaging. And every couple weeks, you're going to move that bar up an inch, and within a few months, you'll be able to increase your flexibility quite a bit. So being said, we're going to do the same thing, a leg swing, however, we're going to do forward and back. So you have forward, back, and again, if you can't keep your balance, hold on to a sturdy piece of furniture. So we're going to do that for five on each leg. Once you've done five, switch. going to go into an inner thigh stretch. So what you'll be doing is you're going to step off to the side, drop down low, raise your heel. You should feel a stretch in this inner leg here. You should feel a stretch also in your hip. And if you want, you can reach around to your foot. So after a very brief pause, switch. So you should be only holding for about 10 seconds because multiple studies have concluded that static stretching before a workout routine will decrease your endurance. So you would save the static stretching for post-workout and do dynamic stretching like most exercises we just did beforehand. That being said, thank you for watching my video. Please check out more of my videos on YouTube under Wellness by Elizabeth and like, subscribe, and share.